In this video, how to post edit a 360 photo in Google Photos or Snapseed. You can do this on mobile or desktop. The image I would imagine on screen speaks for itself. Look at this overcast church on a Sunday morning and look at the one below, which is much, much better and retains its 360 panorama qualities. All I'm going to say about taking a 360 photo is I've used the Moto Camera 2 panorama mode, which produces this like uh, 360 picture, which is about third high. That's the app on the left hand side. Of course, you can use all sorts of 360 photo apps alongside your mobile phone. So let's have a look at it in practice, how we get there. It's a really, really simple thing. It could have been around for a very, very long time. So what we do is you take your picture and then you have a look at it. And of course, you can clearly see that this is one of the first pictures I've taken with my new phone. And it, honestly, it was just really terrible. I've got no control over what happens or have I, because I can come back and you can see that the way that this is a 360, but you've, you're missing the bottom and the top in this app mode. So what we do is we come out of that, of course, and then we hit, this is in Google Photos, already uploaded, of course, the edit button. And then we can come in and simply apply any old um, change, if you like, to make it visually better. We could go to a black and white one there. What I'm going to do is go to an auto. Mm, still not great. Let's go to the original. Let's try something else. And we can go over to our extra edit. I tried Photo Director, it don't work. I used Snapseed, of course, which is owned by Google anyway. All saves on this image will be retaining their 360 qualities as I will demonstrate. So if I'd like to say, do you know what? It was a morning, the sun is just glowing. Um, I can go down and look at a fine art. I can go, you get the idea, don't you? We can actually go along and we can say, all of the Snapseed edit tools, all I can say is play around with everything to your heart's content, even double exposure, which I will demonstrate in a moment. So long story short, one of my favorites, of course, is the HDR because it just makes things work. It'd be great if I knew what an alphabet was to find HDR. And then we can come along and apply the filters or uh, saturate as I did before there. And with this one, I've really got to make it as bright as I possibly can. After that, I can apply all of the saves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back on that because I'm not going to waste any time in this video apart from showing you some examples. So this was the tip, could have been there a long time. The point is I found it, I'm very, very happy about it. And some of the techniques that you might be able to use, if I go back into the new, um, what's it, Google Photos thing, and all I type in the top is 360 and it might come up as 360 photos and videos. And then what you'll find, and this is just working through all of these examples, this one is a double exposure. So what I've done is literally used Snapseed to write the text double exposure, and I've used a landscape um, and from the same place actually. And you can see I've just made a bit of an artifact with the, you know, you can see the, um, the what's it called, a Retrolux post-processing um, filters from Snapseed on that one. Um, to get creative with it, we could come along and we can say, here's a lovely one in black and white of the same scene. You can see that I've done HDR and then black and white in Snapseed. It actually makes quite a nice um, effect on this landscape to change it from the old, old street view uh, style thing of just, you know, what you get is what you get. This one here is... Um, an example of the original, but there's the original there looking in screen and it's 360 inside some woods. Then I've made it black and white. And then I've wondered if I can add the um, actually Google Photos tool of actually just sketching on some circles. So let's say we're in the photos and we had some animals looking at us. Oh, look, there's one in there as a demonstration. And then you can come along and zoom right in and go, oh, here's another animal. Or you can come along, which is the, the really interesting one is there's a 360 going a bit quicker here and then I've done the same thing and you can actually edit down the actual 360 nature so in this example what I've done is I've hit edit and then after that you get the crop and you can actually come all the way down and crop out the stuff you don't want and retain the photo 
360 photosphere quality of moving around. Of course, if you get something that's really annoying um, inside the edit, uh, let's have a look at an annoying one. Um, in, in actual fact, if, if you looked at this one here, let, let's have a look at that one instead, you can see that I'm inside the woods. Now, at the moment, this is a photo which is taken on the um, camera, probably the Street View app, I think, and it's actually a full 360 horizontally and 180 up and down. You can see that I've got, you know, the, the, the sticks, I didn't get my feet in it, but you can see clearly that we've got a lot of coverage there, which um, is 360 by 360, oh, sorry, uh, 360 by 180 from top to bottom. But you might want to, to edit it down. So if you did want to edit it down, you could come along and you go, okay, I want to edit that a bit um, to make it more friendly with a border. I can come along and say, bring that down say to take a little bit oh excuse me uh, bring that down to about there do whatever you like with it quite honestly you could bring it all the way down like that and then what happens is that when you say hit save a copy and I'll just do this one in real time and then come out and you can see there is our full uh, this is our limited in other words not 360 and what we've actually got is the same thing but you've actually retained just the area of interest and nicely blurred out all the rest which I think is a really really good technique if you were say doing something in a street somewhere or in a shop or in a certain place where there's a pole which is just really annoying or say a, a, a neighboring business or a human being or something in it what else have I done to show you um, pretty much it really this one is Retroluxes, there's the original look, there is the Retrolux, same, same, same. I think I've exploited this idea as far as we can. The black and whites I think are wonderful. I, I was super, super pleased when I found this by accident again. So there you go, look, that was the, he says, waiting for the load of slides. How to post edit a 360 photo in Google Photos or Snapseed. Wonderful. You can do this post edit on mobile or or desktop. Thank you very much.